and welcome to the Thousand Eyes tutorial series on monitoring VPNs and managing a remote workforce. The first in the VPN monitoring series, this tutorial will focus on how suboptimal network paths to a VPN gateway can impact SaaS performance. With the rise in remote working trends, VPNs have become critical to the enterprise van connecting remote employees to mission-critical SaaS and internal applications. Any disruption to the VPN service can cripple your remote workforce and hamper employee productivity. As an IT team responsible for delivering superior digital experiences to your employees, you are tasked with managing every component that can impact experience, including VPNs. However, complex connectivity options from split tunnels to data center backhauling when combined with SaaS and cloud architectures and remote end user environments can make VPN monitoring challenging. Thousandize Internet and Cloud Intelligence Platform tackles the challenges of end user monitoring by monitoring every dependency in the digital supply chain all the way from the end user to any application, cloud hosted, SaaS or on-prem. In this tutorial, we will walk through a real-life example that shows the impact on user experience when connected to the wrong VPN and how Thousand Eyes can help troubleshoot and resolve the issue within minutes. The service level report seen here shows the performance of SaaS applications accessed by a cohort of remote employees. From here, you can immediately identify that user Acme Hero Berkeley is experiencing very high page load times when connecting to Workday. Let's peel the layers to understand what's going on here. Filtering on the user with the issue and the domain in question, we can now get a granular insight into user experience and performance. We see that the page speed for Workday is marked as average and the experience score, a quantitative representation of page speed and errors, is not very optimal. A score closer to 100 provides the best user experience. Switching over to the page load time from the dropdown, we clearly see a spike around 9.30 a.m. UTC, a dramatic jump from 6 seconds to 15 seconds, confirming what we saw in the service level dashboard earlier. But the question is, why this spike? Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent, deployed on the remote user laptops, is a browser-based plugin that collects session data for IT-authorized applications. Let's navigate to the session view to see if it might give us any clue on the performance degradation for this user. While a lot of insights can be gathered from the session view, like the user's IP address information, DNS servers, OS version, etc., what pops out is A, the user is connecting via a VPN to Workday, and B, the latency to the VPN is pretty high at 145 milliseconds. To understand why it takes 145 milliseconds to connect to the VPN, let's take a look at the network view. The network view shows network level end-to-end -end performance metrics such as loss and latency to the service along with a detailed hop-by-hop -hop view of the path from the user to the application which is Workday in this case. Visibility into the network underlay tells us that a user in Berkeley is connecting to a VPN gateway in the UK which introduces the high latency. But that's bizarre. Why would the user go halfway around the world to connect to a VPN in the UK? Going back in time when the latency was low, around 8.25 am UTC, will help us understand what optimal VPN the user was connected to earlier. When we look at the connectivity between the end user and the VPN gateway, we see that the user has connected to four different VPN nodes in the last 24 hours, and you can see that at least two of these gateways have low latencies of 2 milliseconds and 22 milliseconds. Now, loaded with this information, you can go back to the user and have them switch to a US-based VPN. This is a pretty common issue wherein users pick the wrong VPN to connect to. In the first example, we see the end user accessing a SaaS application via a VPN. But corporate IT can also configure split tunnel VPNs where non-business related web applications and sites can bypass the VPN and directly connect via the internet. Misconfiguration in this scenario can also result in a suboptimal path being chosen, impacting the end user's application experience. Here. User Acme Hero London is experiencing very high page load times when connecting to Nike.com. We also see average page speed and a suboptimal experience score when this user is accessing Nike.com. 
The session view shows a VPN in the user's pathway for both Nike.com and Salesforce. Salesforce using the VPN is not surprising because this particular enterprise intends to backhaul SaaS apps through the VPN. Clearly, something is wrong with the VPN split tunnel configuration. Armed with this insight, you can now correct the VPN config or direct the user to a different VPN with the right service profile. And that wraps it up. See for yourself how Thousand Eyes can solve your remote workforce and VPN monitoring challenges by signing up for a 15-day free trial at thousandeyes.com signup.